Sky Outdoors, powered by Town Pump, fueling your next outdoor adventure, is also brought to you by Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild, by Montana Army Navy, get it, get out, and live it. And the Outdoor Report is provided by Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Whitefish Whiteout is a European tradition. It is a mountaineering race. Um, so we have athletes from all over coming to skin up the mountain and then ski down a run. Skin up another run, ski down another run. Um, and we have four legs to the long course. They skin up Tony Matt, um, which is the highest ascent. It's over 2,000 feet. And then they're gonna go down Inspiration. They'll go into Cal's Country, um, into Haskell Slide. Um, then they're gonna go up Momentum and up NBC. They'll go back down Phil Hill and they'll ski all the way over to the T-Bar and then go down Ridge Run, go past the new Flower Point lift at the bottom there, go past the Chair 7 lift at the bottom, and then boot pack up Big Horn and then end up at the summit. There are three different levels though to choose from. Um, we have an ascent only category, which in that case, they're just skinning up Tony Matt as fast as they can. And then there is the short course category, which is two legs up and down and up again. My name's Sean Kristen. I'm from Hayden, Idaho. This is my first time doing this. I heard about it uh, online and figured I'd give it a whirl. U.S. national team. <laughs> You're going to make history. Yeah, I think the transitions are going to be a little tough for me considering I don't have schemo gear and I'm not experienced. So I think that's really going to eat my lunch. We will start with the long course first. Two minutes after that, we will start with the short course and the ascending classes. Yeah, this is my third time doing it. First time I did the uh, rec one last year, my good friend Chris Deister talked me into doing the race. Um, came in second to last, <laughs> but I love it. I'm uh, doing the race course, ski mountaineering race, and gonna be skiing about 5,400 vertical feet. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a while, I think 2010 the last time, so. So stoked, it's gonna be a killer though. <laughs> I'm super nervous, hope I make it. Whitefish Whiteout is a ski mountaineering race that uh, really services a pretty ingrained skiing culture of mountaineers and folks who recreationally like to ski up and down the mountain. Join me, Dan Egan, for adventure ski trips and camps around the globe. Camp locations are Big Sky, Montana, Killington, Vermont, Val d'Isere, France, and Valley, Nevado, Chile. Come learn the secrets of all-terrain skiing, plus strategy and tactics that will expand your winter world. Find us on the web at SkiClinics.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. SkiClinics.com, winter education for every generation. Cooler weather is right around the corner, and your local town pump has everything your family needs along with great savings. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more.
Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com. These ski mountaineering races are, are modeled after European randonnée rallies that have been happening for a very long time. Uh, they've been gaining a lot of momentum and speed here in the States. Colorado's been doing a series for a long time. We've been doing this race for now seven or eight years. We've seen good growth. And it's just a strong skiing culture of, of you know, fitness enthusiasts, those who like to ski. Um, it's a good cross-section of the skiing community. We're having a great winter. You know, we got several storms over the Christmas holiday and into the new year, and we uh, started 2015 with over 12 feet of snow and now we're uh we're just rocking and rolling here up at whitefish mountain resort uh the new flower point lift that's uh that's been a big hit of course that came in handy that first weekend when all of the good skiing was on the north side of the mountain and everybody was skiing back there so everybody got a good chance to uh ski that stuff early and get to know their their spots and where they want to go continues to uh, to help um, spread people out around the mountain. It gives us new stuff to ski and the response has been really good. We're really happy about a lot of the changes that uh, we've been making here and we're just continuing to uh, make this experience up here at Whitefish Mountain Resort a better experience for everybody. Uh, Wednesday Night Race League has been around for quite some time. Um, it starts tonight and it happens every Wednesday through March 4th. Uh, anybody can come, children from the ages of 8 and up, uh, adults, teenagers, 20-somethings, what have you. Um, I will say though that the award ceremony is geared toward the 21 plus crowd. Um, it's sponsored by Great Northern Brewing Company and the awards are at the Beer Stoop. So naturally, beer is a factor of Wednesday Night Race League. Also there's a free keg of Great Northern Brewing Company beer for the award ceremony. Um, when the racers head over that way, they get to have a couple free beers and see who won, <laughs> who beat each other on the course. Um, it is dual style, giant slalom racing. So we have two racers going head to head at, at one time. They don't necessarily have to be actually racing each other, but we just start them at the same time, send them down the course. So if you have one buddy that you really want to get, that's the way to do it. We do have a ton of different kinds of events going on this season, including Race League, the Whitefish Whiteout, the Winter Carnival Slope Style, and the list goes on. And all of that information can be found at skiwhitefish.com. If you go to our event calendar, you can also pre-register for some events on our website as well. And you pay less money to register if you do it early in advance online.
Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com How's it going, buddy? You know, I've been coming up to hunt this ranch for 15 years. Yeah, he helps a little bit. He's more of just somebody to laugh at. <laughs> it's really been great. And now it's, it's a lot more fun with, you know, my girls. Just the look on the kids' faces when they finally knock one down. Something that I'll remember forever. Without that relationship, they wouldn't have that opportunity. It's landowners and hunters working together is what makes things work the best. Absolutely. Cooler weather is right around the corner and your local town pump has everything your family needs along with great savings. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more. participants from this event are varied. Uh, we have people from as far as Germany and a strong showing locally. Uh, we have majority of our competitors are in a uh, alpine touring class, but there's also those in split board categories. There's also telemark categories, <laughs> men and women, both our short and longer courses. Our longest course is consists of about an eight miles linearly and about five and a half thousand feet of uphill vert and about three and a half thousand feet of downhill vert. Down Inspiration in Cal's Country and Haskell Slide, one of the steepest routes on the mountain. Uh, then comes back up to the summit via our east side route. Yeah, how's it going? Good. Good times. All right, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. That cheeseburger tastes a hundred times better. So our long course actually highlights three of the steepest areas on the mountain. They uh, descend Haskell Slide, and then they also do a boot pack up North Bull Chute, and another boot pack at the very end of the race up Bighorn.
essentially the boundary line and ends up with a boot pack up uh, Bighorn, which is a new change for this year. Coming up this week on the Outdoor Calendar. Join us at Whitefish Mountain Resort on Saturday, February 14th for the President's Day Torchlight and Fireworks Celebration. It all kicks off at 6.30 p.m. just outside of Ed and Molly's. Also, in honor of Mardi Gras, a New Orleans swing band will entertain for free throughout the evening. This is a fun event for the whole family. For more information, go online to skiwhitefish.com. Come up to Phillipsburg and enjoy the crisp, clean air and play a little hockey. Coming up on February 13th through the 15th is a Brew Cup Hockey Tournament, Brew Fest, and Silent Auction. Enjoy a chili feed and local microbrews as teams from across the state compete. For more information, contact the Phillipsburg Chamber of Commerce at phillipsburgmt.com. You know what to do. Build a dummy, register, watch it fly, watch it crash, and win some prizes. Coming up on Saturday, February 21st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the 12th Annual Dummy Jump at Big Sky Resort. This is always a fun event, so start building dummies now. For more information and to register, go to BigSkyResort.com. Throw on your skins and make first tracks for the 10th Annual Backcountry Film Festival. On Wednesday, February 11th, in Missoula, come be inspired by films in search of deep powder and untracked lines. Films start at 7.30 at the Roxy Theater. Cost is only $10. For more information and to view a full festival trailer, go to winterwildlands.org. If you have an event that you would like to post on Big Sky Outdoors, go to our Facebook page or www.bigskyoutdoorsshow.com. Give us all the details of your outdoor event and we'll post it here on Big Sky Outdoors. Cooler weather is right around the corner and your local town pump has everything your family needs along with great savings. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more. Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves, why? It's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com. How's it going, buddy? You know, I've been coming up to hunt this ranch for 15 years. Yeah, he helps a little bit. He's more of just somebody to laugh at. <laughs> it's really been great. And now it's, it's a lot more fun with, you know, my girls. Just the look on the kids' faces when they finally knock one down. Something that I'll remember forever. Without that relationship, they wouldn't have that opportunity. It's landowners and hunters working together is what makes things work the best. Absolutely. Join me, Dan Egan, for adventure ski trips and camps around the globe. Camp locations are Big Sky, Montana, Killington, Vermont, Val d'Isere, France, and Valley, Nevada, Chile. Come learn the secrets of all-terrain skiing, plus strategy and tactics that will expand your winter world. Find us on the web at SkiClinics.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. SkiClinics.com, winter education for every generation. Here's this week's outdoor report by our friends at Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. When it comes to wildlife management, there are times when a biologist needs to get their hands on an animal. And so there can be capture for transplant reasons, to capture animals over here, to move them over there. There can be capture for research questions. It includes animal capture. Maybe you're measuring some things. Maybe you're collecting some, some health samples. Maybe you're yeah. putting a radio collar on the animal. Biologists use a wide variety of methods to capture animals, from traps, spotlighting and netting birds, ground darting, to drop nets. But one of the main methods is using a helicopter to dart or net an animal. 
Some of those methods are more specific or more targeted than others. Uh, aerial darting or aerial net gunning, you can obviously be very specific, uh, taking just bucks or just cow elk. Um, obviously, you can target those animals easier. Through the years, wildlife capture methods have evolved, but safety has always been the main goal. And the fundamental objective is to, to capture the animal in a manner that's safe to the humans involved and is safe to the animals. I mean, those have been top priorities from the beginning. And while capturing wildlife is a very useful management tool, today's modern technology is allowing biologists to manage wildlife without handling them. The non-invasive uh, methodologies, collecting the hair samples for DNA, for example, camera work, that's added to the toolbox. Um, but it hasn't removed the need to go out and physically capture the animal. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. French and um, the race was super fun. It was a hard start of the first climb. <laughs> ben Parsons, I'm from Kalispell, Montana. I'm a firefighter here at Whitefish. Uh -huh. and we've got people in one piece uh, ski suits from the 80s doing it to the guys in the spandex like myself and running up the hill. And um, yeah, it's just a great day, awesome conditions. Mountain does a great job. Yeah, 36. Yeah, 36. Get some of that. Nice work. Thanks. How you feeling? beat. <laughs> That's probably the uh, hardest race I've ever done. <sighs> but fun. Well worth it. <laughs> hey, my name is Bear Baranowski. I live in Whitefish, Montana, and I love Whitefish Mountain Resort. I love events like this, everything. It was a great course. It was a long course, a lot of suffering. Um, I think I pretty much crushed it. Crushed it. <laughs> I was a tail gunner. I was holding on to everybody's coattails, but it's beautiful to watch these world-class athletes who have no egos just kill it. So it's a great event. Incredibly strong women up here skiing too, which I love to get beaten by a beautiful woman. Awesome, dude. Woo! We had our fastest course ever on our first ascent, all the way from the bottom to the top of the mountain in about 26 minutes and 40 seconds, which is pretty amazing, only slightly slower than the chairlift. Uh, it's a very professional event. I liked it very much because the course was very technical. And I'm a schema racer from Europe, and we are used to technical courses. Come give it a try. Yeah, if you've never done a ski mountaineering race before, give it a try. You don't have to have the ultimate equipment. You don't have to have a unitard. You just got to enjoy a little bit of suffering and camaraderie in it. It's, it's unlike anything else. It's awesome. And the Whitefish Resort is a very good ski mountain, and I'm staying here for the whole week, and I enjoyed it really much. Yeah, it's, and we're not that serious. We like to have fun. <laughs>